Today we're going to explain how a standard common state pump, 2 litre version, can be installed and what the installation requirements are to fit into a standard boiler. Cutting the pipe at an angle uh, prevents uh, vacuum being formed at the bottom. You press the, uh, the pump up to it, wall mount it on the lugs. The pump can also be floor mounted if required. Remove the cardboard tab. Okay. Remove the cardboard tab, which will release the float mechanism, so it works. So the hose is relatively flexible. Uh, in winter months, it may need to be warmed before it goes it goes over the, uh, the check valve. Check valve, then slide the hose on fully all the way to the bottom. Secure the hose with a clip to prevent any small leaks. From a wiring point of view, if the wiring is fed in from the left hand side on this application and the hose needs to be routed to the right, uh, the pump's got a mechanism where it can be reversed. So we can turn the plate round Remount the motor. That mode then you've got the wiring on one side and we can reroute the hose up to the right hand side. Uh, existing piece of 32mm or 40mm uh, waste pipe uh, we can tap into there so we'll cut this pipe and insert a standard T. The, uh, the pump comes with a standard 22mm uh, adapter. This can go into 22mm overflow pipe or can, get, can go into 32mm wire adapter. Push the hose onto this again all the way to the end and then that can easily go straight into standard 32mm fitting. For terminations into a soil pipe we've got a special stainless steel adapter so we drill a 13mm hole into the soil pipe the adapter has got an expansive extending an expanding rubber seal on it. So push that into the hole, tighten up, and the hose from the condensate pump can then be pushed straight onto it. It actually gives you a term a sealed termination onto a soil pipe. The pump comes with two wiring connections, a standard live neutral and earth which can be put into a fuse spur and then a high level float uh, mechanism which can be used to terminate the boiler or switch the boiler off uh, in the event of outlet pipe work blockage. These two wires uh, can be connected into the uh, permanent live on the boiler as a link to isolate the boiler in the event of, uh, of outlet pipe work damage. This would be a standard wiring uh, into a boiler so the live feed here which is the permanent live into the boiler uh, what we need to do to connect the high level float switch is to remove the live feed, put in a standard terminal connector, connect the live feed into this. One of the black wires from the high level float switch goes into that live feed connector and then the second of the live, uh, the high level float switches, the black one, goes into the permanent live connector onto the boiler. So after, after installation everything's wired up properly, um, you should fill the unit up with just with standard water um, just to make sure that it's working. So gradually fill up to the top, the main float switch will kick in and the, uh, the pump will start pumping away. Check the pipe work then for any, any leaks uh, and once it's taken to the bottom of its cycle it will stop running. The pump itself will pump out three quarters of a litre at a time uh, with a vertical lift of about 4.3 metres. Typically the unit will come on between three and six times a day uh, pumping out the three quarters of a litre each time.